now we'll study how to access array elements through pointer okay so here you will be having pointers and array concept both together okay we'll write one program that program has nothing but in a array we'll read some n number of values from the user and those array elements will access through pointers and just will calculate the sum of that entire array okay and we'll display the sum okay so here first i'll consider as a one array okay just i will take three variables only okay so, so here it will allocate some memory location so here if you see, so array a is there so 20 locations i'll take an example i will take for three elements only so now three elements will be having memory location so float is of four bytes okay so always it will take four four bytes suppose it started with 10 here okay then next it will be there as a 14 next it will be there as a 18 okay so like this we will be having memory locations for three elements first element is that is 10 second element is for 14 third element is for 18 like that it will be there here in printf statement we are asking user to enter the number of elements okay so that we are, uh, i am considering in this example as a 3 now okay now in, in scanf in n we read the value as a 3 consider as a 3 okay now in x for loop we are reading the values from the user suppose he entered the values that is 1 okay 2 and 3 entered as a one two three he entered here so this is nothing but we have uh, element values that is one two three uh, values we have so now i am declaring sum equal to zero that is nothing but some variable float type we declared it then we are saying as a it should not have garbage value so we are initializing to the zero so now now we'll check it for how to use pointer here so this is nothing but we are using the pointer here that is ptr equal to a we are doing it ptr is nothing but a pointer variable if you saw here pointer variable of float type okay now ptr equal to a we are giving just if i given a means there's nothing but the address of entire array so if i given here as a, a this a so this a is nothing but address of entire array so that entire array address I am giving to the PTR like previous program I had took as an integer x variable so there it was a one variable x so address of a address of x we used to give that is anything but ampersand x we used to give it so now here this is a array so whenever we are saying array so that time if we give one just name of the array it is nothing but address of the array so here we are giving ptr equal to a okay so now this is nothing but ptr contains the address of array so consider as a ptr memory location is there okay so here this contains the address of a array so starting address of array is nothing but here this is 10 so it contains 10 now okay so this is the address okay now we are saying in a for loop for i equal to so here we are saying for i equal to 0 to hmm, i less than n okay i plus plus we are doing it there is nothing but we are saying as a read the all the elements of array so that is 0 1 2 in this case okay so that is sum equal to sum plus star ptr what is star ptr so star ptr means whatever ptr value is there go to that location take that value so here in ptr what is the value 10 this is the location value so go to that location here in this location we will go so now in this location in 10 whatever value is there that we have to take it 1 so 1 will be taken here okay so that will be added with sum and it will be kept inside a sum variable so that is 0 plus 1 it will be kept as a 1 okay so here so after this statement we will be keeping as a one inside a sum so after that we are doing as a ptr plus plus okay what is ptr plus plus here 
is nothing but we are saying is a increment the pointer okay we already know you know increment post increment and pre increment if i given as a increment always it will be increment by 1 okay so here this ptr is nothing but a pointer so whenever you are incrementing a pointer so corresponding data type it will check it so that is ptr whatever it's defined it will check it so ptr is defined here as a float it will check it so whatever size of the data type is there that much it will increment okay. i'll repeat it once again so whenever we are incrementing a pointer it will check for its data type its data type is defined as a float so whatever float size is there that is 4 bytes so it will increment by 4 so now here this is instead of 10 here it will become as a increment by 4 so it will become as a 14 okay that is nothing but so instead of pointing here it will point to the next element that next element is nothing but second element of the array that is it's pointing to the 14 so now next iteration it will read the second element so star ptr it will read the second element so previous value whatever it was there it will add it that is previous one it was there as a 1 1 plus 2 it will add as a 3 and it will store as a 3 in sum and again it will increment the ptr so now again you have to add with ptr with 4 so 14 plus 4 now it will become here as a 18 okay so it will become as a 18 here this means this now instead of pointing here it's pointing to the next element of the array so that is it's pointing to the third element okay so that is it's pointing to the third element of the array so whatever it is there in 18th address that value it will take it in next iteration like that it will keep on incrementing it so here at the end of this loop you will be having the sum total sum so that sum we are displaying here okay so it will display as a addition of one two and three this total value it will display as a six okay let us see the output okay so here i'll giving this example so you enter the number of elements so suppose if i give one as a four and those elements as a 10 20 30 40 so it will add those things and it will display it so here while accessing the pointer okay while accessing the array elements through the pointer so always we have to give first thing as a address of array so that is nothing but name of the array only it's enough so if i give one name of the array to the pointer it's enough no need to give the percent then while accessing ptr star ptr it will take individual elements then whenever you are incrementing the pointer that is it will increment by number of bytes of corresponding data type okay here if i give one as an int it will again will increment by 4 bytes if i give one as a double it will increment by 8 bytes okay depending on data type this pointer size will be increased okay this is how we'll access the array elements through pointer okay now we'll study one program that is program for swapping two variables using functions or pointers okay or you make it for same question same answer different question that is write the difference between call by reference and call by value okay answer remains same okay the program remains same little bit question will be different okay so here now first we'll study what is call by value okay so here we'll study first call by value then we will check actual program for how to swap the two numbers using function or pointer or it's nothing but a call by reference concept first we'll check how we should not do it then we'll study how we have to do it okay so here call by value so we're writing one program that is nothing but using functions so here i'm using one function that is named as a swap okay so it's taking two arguments p and q okay so that function will declare it so inside main what we'll do we'll use we'll ask user to give two values or randomly we'll take two values then we'll pass it to the function then from the function whatever we'll get it that will display it after swapping so okay and inside the function definition actually we'll swap it okay so here starting we declared in main 
x and y variable then we given some values 10 and 20 you may take it from the user also by using scanf directly i am assigning here 10 and 20 so what will happen so if I, from these three statements so here for x one memory will be there for y one memory will be there so in x we are giving the value 10 in y we are giving value 20 so this thing will happen so after that we are just displaying before calling the swap function whatever value is there that we are printing it value of x and value of y so it will print value of x as a 10 value of y as a 20 so it will print it then we are calling the function okay so that is swap function we are calling so x and y so whatever x value is there that we are passing y value is there that we are passing it so where we are passing so corresponding x value we are giving to the first one so that is for p and corresponding y value we are giving to the q okay so here x value will be assigned to p y value will be assigned to q so that is nothing but when it will call this function int p that is one memory will be allocated int q one memory will be allocated then we are assigning the value that is x value to the p y value to the q so what will happen here you will be getting x value as a 10 q value as a 20 then first statement if you saw declaring a t variable so whenever you are declaring it it will define so it will allocate memory so that is t will be created one box will be created for t some memory location now what we are doing is we are just swapping the values that is nothing but here we are giving t equal to value of p so p contains 10 that will assign it to t so it will modify as a t value as a 10 so t we got value as a 10 so next statement that is p equal to q so in p in p value of q we are giving it so this value we are assigning it so that is nothing but so p value will be modified as a 20 now after that q equal to t we are giving so q equal to here whatever value of t is there that we are assigning 10 will be assigned to q so that is so q contains now 10 so after that we don't have anything so this function definition will get over so this definition will get over it will go here and after calling the function this statement printf statement will be displayed then we are displaying the x value and y value okay so what is the x value and y value so it remains same only so it's not at all modified so it's only swapped the whatever value you given to the p and q so first we given p as a 10 q as a 20 that is swapped not the actual value of x and y so it remains same only so that's why it will display here before calling also x value is 10 and after calling also swap function also its value is 10 only so it will never swap it okay so that is so if we just pass the values to the function and you are swapping inside a function so it will swap whatever temporary variables created for swapping purpose okay so in that only or whatever arguments is received in that and temporary variable t in that only it will swap it it will not affect the main functions variable x and y okay so x and y values will remain same so if we want to swap x and y variables value we have to use pointers okay star mark okay so that is nothing but reference variables you have to use it now we will see how to use that one okay that is here if you observed for defining functions for declaring function using star p and star q same thing will be used for defining also and while swapping also stars are used and while calling the function we are using the address okay that is nothing but if you remember here how we used to assign an address that is ampersand variable name we used to give it so here just ampersand x we are giving it and this address we are assigning to p variable okay so let's go through the program now so first thing is declaration function declaration swap here we are saying as a p and q two pointers are there okay now in main we are creating two variables x and y 
for that we given value that is 10 and 20 two boxes will be there in that 10 and 20 values are there and here we are printing the x and y values before calling the swap function so when we are calling the swap function address of x so address of x this value and address of y this value okay so whatever these values are there these values we are assigning to correspondingly that is p variable okay correspondingly we are assigning to the x x address to the p pointer y address to the q pointer okay so that is what will happen here so whenever it will create this first line whenever it will execute that time we will be having p and q two memory locations and t also one memory location okay and it will give the value x value it will give it to the p that is address of x it will give it to the p that is 4000 address of y will be given to the q so that is 4004 and t we don't have any thing now okay now what we are doing is we are trying to swap it so how we are swapping here so that is first line that is star p equal to t we are giving here star p is nothing but take the p value star p means go to that location and take that value okay that is nothing but p variable value whatever is there 4000 go to this location take this value 10 and assign it to the t t equal to star p so now t contains 10 okay now t contains 10 here okay then after that star p equal to star q we are giving it is nothing but star p is nothing but p whatever is there go to that location whatever is there go to that location in this location assign it so in this location assign it what we have to assign that is star q star q is nothing but in q whatever value is there go to that location so go to here then whatever value is there that you assign here so that is 20 is assigned to x now so here after that statement what will happen so x value will be modified as a 20 so after that just what we are doing is star q equal to t that is nothing but whatever t value is there this value you have to assign it to star q star q is nothing but q whatever value is there take that one go to that address in that address assign this t value so assign this t value as a 10 so what will happen y will, will be modified as a 10 now if you saw now actually our x and y values are swapped okay so here then after this one we don't have anything so uh, we don't have any statement so it will come out of the function so it will go for next point of statement so here now we are printing after calling uh, swap function what is the value of x and y okay let's see the output so here this print of statement will give before calling the swap function then it will print x and y values before calling that x value was 10 y value was 20 so after calling its value is 20 and 10 okay this is actually swapped so this is how we have to use pointers to swap the two variables so it's nothing but whenever you are passing a only value it will not reflect whenever you are calling from that point okay it will only modify in a function wherever functionality you are implementing it if you pass a pointer it will reflect in wherever you are calling no in that position also it will reflect it okay so what is the difference between call by value and call by references in call by value only values are passed okay only here in call by value only values are passed x and y values are passed here and those values are swapped there only temporarily okay and in call by reference what we are doing is here address of those variables are passed then values are swapped here okay those values corresponding to that address it is swapped okay that is call by reference through reference actual swap will happen okay this is the actual difference between call by value and call by reference